Hi everyone. During this video, I will talk about the summary of week nine. What we will do during this week. Week nine will start October 29 until November 2. The last week, week eight, we understand the proportional relationship. And now we know everything about the proportional relationship. Directly proportional, inversely proportional, and everything about the proportional relationship. In this week, we will learn how we can describe proportional relationships with a constant of proportionality. Okay? On Sunday, October 29, we will start from lesson 2.4. Describe a proportional relationship. This lesson, from page 87 until page 92. By the end of this lesson, we have two objectives and all together step by step to reach our goals. By the end of this lesson, you have to be able to use the constant of a proportionality to write equations that represent proportional relationships. And the second goal, by the end of this lesson, you have to be able to use equations to solve problems involving proportional relationships. We will start this lesson from a new word, proportional relationships, and also we will try to start our lesson from tutorial one. In tutorial number one, we will try to use fractions to find the variables by using proportional relationships. Okay, and we will explain some more of the problems about this lesson. Okay, after tutorial one, we have, as you know, we have interactivity one, to check, to evaluate yourself, to check what you still need, what you understood, okay? And also, if you faced any problem or if you didn't, Answer any question, you can watch the tutorial too. And for sure, we will watch together, we will learn together. But here in tutorial to this video from Khan Academy, and as you know, this one, trusted resource. In this video, we will explain the same lesson, but by using a different way to understand our lesson and understand proportional relationship. Also, after tutorial two, we have entered activity two also more equations word equations and multi multiple choice equations here this lesson we will start as i told you before october 29 also october 30 will be monday okay we will stay with the same lesson we will stay with the same lesson to solve more equations and take more exercises okay and we have the same objectives. We have the same objectives that I told you before. But here, we will try to use more equations to solve award problems involving proportional relationships. And also here, we have a different videos to explain what we will do, to explain some examples, some word problems. As you, as you can see here, we have this table. And we have some examples to solve also here. We have a more activities, more equations to solve about the same lesson. The same lesson. The next day will be October 31. We will start from the other 2.5. You described already. You understood already the proportional relationship. Now we will learn how we can graph a proportional relationships. We will learn how we can graph proportional relationships. Here in this lesson, we have two objectives. So by the end of this lesson, you have to be able to use a graph to recognize a proportionality, interpret a point on a graph of a proportional relationship. This is our goals, and you have to be able to reach these goals all together, step by step, to reach these goals goals and also here i think you know graph and you know proportion relationship because we started from understanding the proportion relationship then the next week what we studied describe a proportion relationship and now we're trying to learn how we can graph a proportion relationship in this video we will explain our lesson by using a very simple way we will give you some examples we will try to Explain the basics of this lesson. We will try to explain how we can draw or plot the points between X and Y axis. I'm talking about two dimensions here. Okay. We will try to check the points and we will 
we will try to take the information from the tables and check the relationship by a graphing by a graphing after this video we have interactivity one Inter in this activity we have some questions to learn you how you can draw and plot the points on x and y components on a graph okay because any graph you have x and y also we have the third direction z component after tutorial one after interactivity one we have a tutorial two very short very short video here also we trying to explain we trying to explain the same lesson by using a different way also the other blocks here we have interactivity two more questions more exercises further practice and self-assessment this one self-assessment here from a quizzes website we have a multiple choice questions very important to check this one and all of these blocks i am repeating several times a challenging questions the most important thing in our week why because i am always looking to my students as a perfect student i'm always to told you i told you before trust yourself and if you need any help or support don't hesitate to contact with your teacher we are all here to help you so the challenge question for my, for all of my students because all of you are very high level we need some basics it's okay but you are a perfect trust yourself okay after october 31 we will stay with the same lesson november 1 and november 2 Wednesday and Thursday, Thursday, we will take more exercise, we will learn more and more, we will take a different shapes, we will take a different tables and a plot the proportional relationships between a different things. Kindly, if you need anything, if you didn't understand anything, don't hesitate to contact me. You are most welcome at any time. And always remember, I am here to help you so you can call me at any time contact me at any time by email okay thank you so much and see you soon